again. We are back with another review. And I'm happy to say it's another hide that we have to look at. Um, this is a unique edition of, of hide. It's limited edition. Uh, limited to 1,000 bottles. It's also unique in that it's cask strength. Uh, it's the only cask strength hide available at the moment. Eight year old single grain <coughs> is what's inside. And it's been matured in uh, bourbon casks. Uh, so that should impart some nice familiar vanilla sweetness as well. 59% um, non-chill filtered, triple distilled. Another offering from the Hibernia Distillery. So let's just see uh, what the character reveals, the age uh, that we have, and uh, indeed the cask strength, which should be good. Lovely pop there. Uh, get my pour out. There we go. In there will do very nicely indeed. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, it's really got legs. Probably can't see it, but we've got some nice uh, dripping down here. It's really sticky, we can see. Mm. Lovely perfume there. Really sweet, and uh, I am getting cloves. Definitely. It actually says cloves on the bottle, and uh, yeah, bang on. Getting the oak as well. A little bit of pine needles. Mm. Smells a little bit like old aftershave. complex. Mm. Oh. Uh, vanilla, yeah. Really sweet. Bourbon. A little bit of caramel cloves and spice um, lingering nicely so that we're not overly uh, drowned in sweetness there is this lovely spice as I say oh that's lovely mm. yeah good and strong um, very fine I'm liking that uh, that uh, communication between the sweet vanilla and the uh, this spiciness, which I think probably comes from imparting all that that wood in that in that smaller cask and uh, the high al alcohol content, giving it a nice little bite. But it is really not um, it's not as strong and as aggressive as I imagined it might be uh, from what I've experienced from stronger percentages. It's actually got a lovely, delicious creaminess about it <coughs> uh, that kind of clogs up uh, your throat and your taste buds in a, in a lovely, uh, pleasing, warming way. Very, very good. Really like it. Mm. It's uh, really on second inspection. It's uh, really thick. <coughs> Just a second mouthful. Uh, coats again the throat. Um, adding new dimensions of, of vanilla. New dimensions of spice, cloves. Um, it manages to maintain a real rounded, clean palate at the same time as being unctuous and rich and deep and clinging and cloy and uh, buttery and uh, kind of sugary jammy background hints um, 
Yeah. Very fine. Very fine. They've done it again. They've done it again, Hyde. They uh, they never really disappoint, Hyde. And that is uh, that is no exception. That's remarkably nice. Um, uh, very well rounded. I can drink that uh, neat. I think, <clears throat> although it'd be good to see. Um, how it changes with with the introduction of of some some room temperature water, you know, that'd be good to see. Um, but yeah, very impressed, very impressed. Um, love the love the labeling. I like that it uh, hide is now horizontal. We're showing something different. Um, it's also differentiated by the fact that uh, there's no mention of Douglas Hyde, the president. Um, yeah, lovely. top-notch stuff. Uh, do subscribe if you like these videos. Um, we'll continue to try and bring you uh, as many whiskies as we can, ones that aren't quite so common perhaps. Um, if you'd like us to review a specific whiskey, perhaps you can send me a message on Twitter or on uh, YouTube or put it in the comments and I'll try try to get round to it or if you can recommend me a nice whiskey to try, you can let me know and I'll certainly try to get a hold of it as well. So, I'll see you on the next video.